In my last video, I said that as a woman, my place was at the sewing machine. Well, many of you were quick to correct me and tell me it was actually the kitchen. So, being the good wife I am, I went to go cook my husband a meal. When all of a sudden I realized all my knives started to mysteriously disappear. After searching everywhere and being too lazy to go to the store, I decided I would 3D print my own knives instead. Was I convincing enough to cover up the fact that we just want to poke things with 3D printed knives? Uh... Okay, so I know the internet loses its mind when it comes to 3D printed pew pews, but will it do the same with knives? Let's see, I guess. So first off, I wanted to prove that 3D printing things like knives, throwing stars, or other pointy objects would actually do something. Otherwise, I might as well not even try, you know? Like if I can't stab a cardboard box or something, then what's the point? So I gathered up some targets and spent about two weeks making an Among Us mold for homemade ballistics gel, which ultimately became a disaster. Among Us? Two Among Us? Oh, no. one? One Among Us? It's like Geneva Convention level. Not allowed. <laughs> Should have been a doctor. Hi guys, I'm just <laughs> moving the inside of the Among Us. Oh, this was necessary. I spent what, like a week 3D printing parts for a giant Among Us mold. Just for it to leak. After mixing the gelatin wrong and having all of it leak out of the giant mold, we tried again with smaller Among Us. It's like an instrument. <laughs> And we made sure they were leak proof. I have dinner. Oh no, his other leg. After all that, I took our two successful oh, Among Us no. figures, the other targets and our 3D printed pointy objects to see how well all of them would hold up. Also, we just wanted to obliterate things. Resin printed throwing star. Oh. oh. Well, uh, Oh. Oh. Oh my. oh my! No, Among Us! The imposter has sent it. I'm getting progressively closer and closer. How? That is really scary, though, dude. You can just like design a sharp, pointy object and print it out. We're gonna you have didn't to, hear we're that. Gonna have to Criminals come. everywhere. <laughs> also printed some throwing knives. Sharp, pointy, but not too strong. Try the FDM one, actually. All right, all right. It just, like just slapped, slapped it. Oh, what? We got an FDM flat tipped arrow. What? Oh my god! Oh, dude, the flat tip of it oh. broke off in it. Now we're using resin tips for arrows. It was just a cone, um, but it, it's it's pretty sharp. Two, one. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! No way! Ah! It's like the worst that's happened is it's dulled out like a little bit. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Woo! It went completely through it. If the tip is on there, I'll be beyond surprised, but I don't think it is. Oh, no way! That went clean. There is no. Oh my gosh. One. <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> oh. As fun as it was to tear things to shreds, ultimately I wanted to focus on how sharp we could get a knife. And while our makeshift gelatin among us was a good proof of concept that it might do something, <laughs> it wasn't enough to tell me if the knives were dangerous or not. Oh no, no, while he's down! I feel like Pepsi. So I broke down, opened up my wallet, and ordered actual FBI-rated ballistics gel. I printed two identical knives, one out of resin and one out of PLA, just with the materials I had. So I know you can get like stupid sharp edges with resin, but it's so brittle. But I'm thinking you can get just as equally sharp edges with FDM if you sand it enough. It's already getting sharper. Obviously not like super clean, but for one pass of sanding. And I sanded some more and some more until I think if I sanded any more, I would have sanded straight through the end of the blade. I, I seriously don't think it's gonna get any sharper than this. So I got the two printed knives. Also got obviously like a real knife. This is real FBI ballistics gel. It's rated for whatever the FBI uses. So if it, it punctures this, uh, it, it would puncture me. First, should we stab it with the real knife? Gosh, that's really hard. 
That is surprisingly difficult. This is decently sharp, right? I mean, that's tough. Yeah. This is this is tough. Okay. This is gonna shatter into a billion pieces. Nah, man, let's give it a try. Let Two, one. Yeet. Okay, wait. That actually about with the force that I'm hitting it at. I go with this one. Okay. That's okay. Like the same force. Let's try the FDM one. Okay. The same amount of force. That's pretty like. That would hurt someone. I'll give it a try. You give it a try. No promises. You you have muscle. I am noodle. Two, one. Okay. Okay. That is difficult. It's all like the same. <laughs> Was something that that makes you angry? Pretend I left five glasses of water on the bedside table. <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to be me or what. How much force would it take to like push it all the way in there? Okay. Oh my gosh! Me pushing my whole body weight against it. Let's see if I can do this without shattering. This is a workout. That's gonna be difficult. This is gonna be really difficult. Your finest work. Women in STEM, baby. You think I could throw it into it? Oh, that was a poor decision. It's dirty now. Oh, women in STEM. Women in STEM. Okay, I, I know I missed, but like that's kind of cool. I think the blade hit it that time. I don't think that's happening. So yes, we can like stab things with it, but I, I guess they can't be throwing knives. But could we cut something like a real knife? Like, can we make dinner with it? Carrot. <laughs> Engineering. You're gonna think we're like children. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, if you thought this video was big brain, I've got some news for you. You can also be big brain. Except I mean actual big brain and not the stupidity that was this video. If you have ever wanted to learn more about STEM subjects like math, engineering, computer science, brilliant is the best way to learn. Whether you're a student, grandpa, or small brain social media influencer, brilliant has thousands of interactive lessons to offer. It provides classes tailored to your interest and experience levels. It's like your own little learning coach. I recently started one to learn the basics of computer programming. It's very hands-on and if you're a visual learner like me, it's perfect to introduce new subjects or even to refresh on the old ones. You can try all that Brilliant has to offer free for 30 days if you use this link right here, brilliant.org slash emilytheengineer. And wow, the first 200 of you that go and click that link below will get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription as well. So go. So be sure to go check them out and thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Even though they teach people to be smart, what I did in this video was more so caveman brain than anything.